Hi everyone, in this video I will talk about phased array antennas and beamforming of them. In my previous videos I have designed 2.4 GHz inset fit microstrip patch antennas. Here in this project I will use 5.8 GHz inset antenna and I have designed this antenna using same techniques that I have shown you in my previous video. And first of all let's look at its S parameters. We can see that it is it has quite reflection in 5.8 gigahertz and here let us look at uh, far field parameter of our antenna we can see that it has quite circular parameter with 8.27 dBi antenna gain and uh, total efficiency of minus 0.6 uh, there are different uh, methods for designing phased array antennas. First, and the simplest one of them is to directly click Farfield pattern, click array factor, and uh, here appears a window uh, saying Farfield calculation of antenna arrays. And if we click activate Farfield array, we can define from here rectangular phased array. Here we can specify the elements in x, y, and z directions and distances between them and the phase shifts between these antennas. For this particular video, I will choose two x elements in x directions, one in y and y in z, and we will have 50 mm separation between them and we will have zero phase shift between them. If we click update list, it creates two antennas and we can see their coordinates here, amplitude and the phase values of this antenna. And if we click OK, uh, CSD will create us the perfect pattern for our 2.5 phased array. We can see here that its direction has increased to 11.4 and we will had the same efficiency value. Uh, we can also see from polar coordinates its directions as zero degrees. And we can change these directions by changing phase shift values. If we click 30 phase shift and click update leads, it will uh, change phase shifts of each antenna. And if we click OK, we can see that the main magnitude of the far field pattern changed to 4 degrees as we can see here also our main loop magnitude has decreased slightly if we further increase the phase shift value to 60 we can see here the change our main loop direction has decreased 0.2 dBi and our main loop direction changed to 8 degree and uh, because we have two uh, elements in uh, x direction we can only move our main antenna pattern along this x direction and this is basically the first method to design uh, phase array antenna in CSD. In our second method we can design uh, uh, phase array from schematic and using task array first of all let me no, not select this array if uh, we can uh, design phased array by clicking schematic and click simulation project and click array task here uh, CST asks us how will be our uh, antenna we can choose here from diamond from hexagonal or from octagon and uh, there are some plenty of other shapes if you click custom we can also specify elements in x and y and spacings between them and if we click 2 1 and spacing 50 and if we click ok uh, it will create array like this i have created before this video and uh, if we choose create full array a simulation project it will create a CSD file 
where there will be two antennas separated uh, by 50 millimeters uh, and it is created here and uh, it will calculate all the far field patterns of these two antennas we can see here the designed antennas and its far field patterns uh, here so it's quite similar to the previous one and uh, it's again almost the same and uh, its efficiency is uh, quite small uh, compared to the previous one also we can change its main lobe directions from uh, setup uh, button uh, if we click setup and choose simulation settings uh, excitation list well, there appear, appears windows where we can choose amplitude and the phase shift of our antennas again using the method uh, I have described before uh, I can choose one one and click phase shift values and uh, we will have the same results as the previous video and as a third uh, method for designing phased array antennas we can directly uh, design two antennas uh, design two ports and simulate it like here and as a result we uh, of this uh, simulation we will have two results uh, one result belonging to port 1 and other result belonging to port 2 we can see here that the shape of uh, microstrip patch antenna have changed slightly this is due because of the mutual couplings between two antennas and after that if we click post processing and click combine results we can choose here the amplitude and the phase shifts from which we can combine two results of the two port excitations and if we click one uh, click one and choose the phase shift values as zero zero and click combine uh, CST will combine and create a far field pattern uh, from these antennas like this we can see here that our directivity is much smaller because uh, from this project it takes account all the irregularities and all the mutual couplings uh, of between these antennas and you can see that uh, in this simulation the first simulation step uh, takes a uh, quite a long time but uh, by using uh, post-processing step you can easily combine uh, results and uh, make change also you can use this as you know, optimization task uh, to create much better antennas also I have created some other uh, results from here we can see that I have uh, first of all let me explain the notation used in CST here if we click far field 5.8 1 uh, it means that I have used uh, signal excitation from port 1 and it is magnitude is 1 and its phase is 0 also I have summed them up with uh, excitation from port 2 uh, which uh, magnitude is 1 and phase shift 0 in second uh, simulation result we have not changed anything from port 1 but we have added 30 uh, degrees phase shift to the second port and we can see here that our main beam direction have changed slightly we can see it much simpler from polar plot we can see that its main lobe direction changed to minus 4 degree and we have uh, 0 0.1 dBi uh, loss in uh, main lobe uh, power if we also simulate uh, 65 
60 phase shift decrease, uh, we can see that uh, the main lob magnitude changed to minus 8 degree, and also we have further decreased our main lob power. This is due to if uh, if we change uh, main lob uh, further away from the center, a grating lob occurs here. You can see it is more easily in this uh, result where I have added 90 degree of phase shift to the second antenna and we have here the large uh, grating lob. And in the end, uh, because we have two antennas uh, which is uh, situated in X direction, we can only change our main lob direction uh, only in X uh, axis. So this is basically all of that you can do in CSD and hope you enjoyed and see you in the next videos.